All right. Screen as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on one second. Doing? I'm doing great. Let me turn you up a little bit. All right, that should that should be good. I'm doing cool. fantastic. Oh man, this is, I gotta say, this is such an honor, man. Like you have no idea, you are a a legend, and this is crazy. I I know, absolutely insane. So thank you, thank you for doing this. This is awesome. No, it's my my absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. Yeah, yeah. I know, and my chat's going crazy. They're like, no way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I think I um I think the link that I sent you on Discord that should should still work. So you should be able to hop in through that. Okay, just give me one second. Yeah, no um, worries. Just got to jump into a link, Pete. Yeah. I think. Yeah. No worries. I've got I've got um, a good friend of mine helping me here because I have no idea what we're <laughs> doing right now. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a whole new world to me. To be honest, the whole thing with Roblox and what have you is not something I'm I'm very used to. But I'm very happy to be here and very happy to join in. But uh, yeah, it's kind of new to me, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like a new frontier. Uh, you know, hopping in for the first time, it's all good. We'll have yeah. some have some fun with it. Are you are you a big gamer at all? I used to be. I used oh, to really? be. I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. I, I mean, well, well, I'm going back some time. I'm going back to my favorite of all time was a game called GoldenEye. It was a James Bond. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, man, that game was amazing. I mean, I spent, I burnt a lot of hours doing that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I used to play. I used to play Doom back in the day, oh, like yeah. when it was like really primitive. And I used to have my speakers in my studio. I had a really great studio at the time. I had these massive speakers. And I used to frighten myself to death because I'd be playing Doom and then all of a sudden the speakers are kicking really <laughs> loud with a monster or what have you. Yeah, the so, heavy but I, I haven't. Oh, yeah. But I haven't, been a, I haven't really been much of a gamer for a long time, to be honest. I think partly because I've just got to an age where, and listen, it's not an age thing always, but... I've got to an age where when I play with people like my godson when he was a bit younger and stuff, and they just completely annihilated me within seconds. And it takes, you know what I mean? It takes the fun out of it when your grandpa trying to play. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. So, um, yeah. That, but, um, that happens to yeah. me every day. I come on here and I get annihilated by eight-year-olds, and then they make fun of me in the <laughs> chat. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Super cool. So what are we doing here? I can see yeah. myself there right now, and I can see I can see you. Obviously, you're looking very dapper there in your. I'd have to say that's a pretty good Rick Roll outfit you've got on there. To be Thank honest, the stripy T-shirt, the the blazer looks good, the chinos, the hair, the microphone, everything's pretty Thank cool. Thank you. It, it is it is iconic. I had to, I had to dress up for the occasion. Love it. But um yeah, so we're gonna be figuring out this game together. I played it a little bit uh, a little bit earlier with your yep. friend, I think, but. Um, yeah. Essentially, how it works is you got a little pet right there. Um, I think it's sure. pet. Yeah. And so if you come over here, um, you, you're just going to click on these little items, and your pet should go yep. and kind of like eat it, I guess, <laughs> is the word. Right. Okay. So I think what we need to do, if I seem to remember right, don't I have to... I've got to click on that with the mouse, yep. and then my pet is going... Yeah, there we go. And then he's eating it. There and we go. That Boom. should disappear, and you should get some... Hey money there i think there you go love it love it love round it. of applause okay, moving on oh he's becoming a, a pro gamer this is the start here we go my words <laughs> so uh on the right hand of your screen you should see i think diamonds yeah. and then honestly i don't know what that second icon is i think it looks like a bean um and uh how many of those do you have i have uh 3139 diamonds i've got 87 five beam beans okay so let's just keep um Clearing out some of the uh, the items okay, here on the just, ground. And then once we okay, get 2,000, we can unlock the next area here. Okay, 2,000 beans is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. I really hope that's beans. The developers are like, that's not beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not beans, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got to ask, too, while you're while you're on here. Uh, yeah, would you sure. ever be down to do, like, a Roblox concert one day? I mean, listen, it, what's really kind of crazy about that is that if you would have said that to me even a couple of years ago, I would have said, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I think the whole thing with the internet and music and streaming and people being in another world, as it were, but obviously it is the, it, well, I say another world, it's the real world to a lot of people because they're in it right now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's, yeah, so it, the short answer to that is yes, because I, I, I think things are changing and times are changing and... You want to play to an audience. I also think COVID changed everything for oh, everybody yeah. in terms of what a gig was. You know, so many people did online stuff for that. And um, yeah, so I think I think there's going to be a time in the future when, 
kids, you know, are obviously something like Roblox where they're developing the games themselves and doing all that and everything, and they're going to just get in touch with artists and saying, come and play. They're going to yeah. be promoters soon. Do you know what I mean? For sure. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. Well, I Roblox, if you're watching the stream, you heard the man. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. That would be that would be probably the biggest thing in Roblox. That'd be crazy, man. How much? Uh, I think I've got two thousand six hundred right see, now. How do you do that? I've got well, I've got nine twenty two at the moment, so I'm way behind nine twenty three. I'm gonna say. Oh, uh, gonna try hitting the uh, the chest here. I think these drop the the beans. The other ones drop diamonds. I think maybe that's it. Ah, right. Okay, so I'm not okay. I got you now. I got you. Now. There we go. That I've got do three thousand something diamonds, but um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no worries. No so worries. I need I need two thousand beans, do I, to get through there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Awesome. I, I know. So you're... Whereabouts are you oh, in sorry, America? Do you uh, uh, whereabouts are you in America then? Or yeah. Do you don't want to tell us where you are. I'm in uh, I'm in Pittsburgh. I live in Pittsburgh. Ah, okay. Because I kind of thought that was the case, and uh, yeah, I was in Pittsburgh last year. Actually, I was on tour. Um, oh. And uh, yeah, we had a yeah. It's kind of. I should have went, I've, man. I've, I didn't know. <laughs> well. There you go. Next time. Next no, I've time. been really, really lucky, I think, over the years to travel to a lot of different parts of the world, obviously. And yeah, sometimes you kind of, I don't know, as a kid, you just kind of, you know, the names of so many time towns around, especially in America and stuff. We grew up a lot watching it on TV and stuff. Yeah. And then you find yourself, then you're talking to somebody in America thinking, well, whereabouts are you? You know, but um, yeah. So yeah, from Florida, grew up there and then and moved to moved to Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. a, diff that's a different, that's a changing <laughs> climate right there. Yeah, I, the last year I was in Florida, it was, I think, like 86 degrees on Christmas. So, um, you know, wearing wow. shorts. okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Moved Slightly up here, it's snow Pittsburgh. everywhere, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm really slow, man. I've got, like, I've, I've just gone up to 988 at the moment. It's going to take me forever to get these beans. Oh, really? Uh, also, I just realized, I think it's gold. <laughs> ah, okay. That makes a little gold. bit more ah. sense than beans. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, the golden beans, let's call them that. Yeah. I wonder. Okay, uh, I'm just popping over. Yeah, I've got a thousand and one beans right now. Okay, all right, all right. We're almost there. We're almost there. I wonder why I'm getting them so much faster. What in the world? Yeah, I don't know. Well, because you probably play this type of game every day of your life, and I do it once in a blue moon. But yeah, that we'll see. that may be. I just I, I I do sit here a lot. This is uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I went outside for the first time in like a few months the other day. It was it was a magical experience. <laughs> so do you find? Yeah, it's interesting, you see. If you play a lot of games and you're online a lot, I mean, I use computers a lot. I use them with work a lot and obviously just generally speaking, but I don't game a lot, like I say, anymore. Yeah. So do you find... Oh, something just happened because I've just gone 2,000 beans. Oh. Or gold. Well, great. Yeah. Well, I guess we can... 2,052. Right, where are we going now, then? I think if you uh, go right here and hit E on the little barrier, it should unlock the, the next area, I think. Oh, God, yeah, I got a sec. And then you'll hear Jack Black uh, talk. Do you want to remove the barrier and explore further? Yes, I do. Yeah. Awesome. I think I think I think he's in. We did it. Cool. Great. Okay. So what did Jack Black want us to do? I missed that. Uh, I actually don't know. Um, I think what we <laughs> <laughs> I think what we uh, okay. what we should do next is I think we can get oh. more pets. Let me actually go to these machines here. Okay. Um, yeah. So for a hundred gold, you can. Press E on this little machine and get a get some more pets. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to see where you are, really. Oh, I'm I'm right here. I'm jumping. Hang on a second. Let me find you. Oh wait, where? Oh, we lo we know, lo I've oh, lost. We lost. I see you. I see you. There. You are. Uh, I'm. Oh, you right. there. I've got it. I've got yeah, you. Yeah. I've got you. So now, now I've got a bunch of how pets I, here. How could I miss that quiff and that outfit? <laughs> Ah, so you've got a lot of pets then. How did you get all the pets? Yeah, so if you go up here and press E on this, I think you can buy ah, okay, more. Okay. And then ah, okay, you'll break okay. stuff faster. Okay. Yeah. Okay, mine doesn't want to go E for a minute. There we go. Okay. Uh, I wonder why mine doesn't want to do that. Oh, I do. You oh, you don't. I don't. I need more solar beans. Oh, I'm only at 70 foot, so I've got to earn more beans again oh, right now. Oh, okay. All right, here. Uh, we'll just break a few things, and then you should have enough. You should have enough. Yeah, just get up to a hundred, and then you'll you'll be able to get a little bit more there. Okay. <laughs> Chat, I'm not I'm not gonna Rick roll Rick Astley himself. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, man. <laughs> nah, nah, I I wouldn't even know where to begin. <laughs> no, believe me, 
I, I've had a lot of amazing moments because of Rick rolling that whole thing, and it's been it's been amazing to be honest. It's been a kind of a crazy adventure seeing what people do with that song and different things. Yeah. But I also still to this very day do not understand it. So. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's you know? it's crazy because when I was 12 years old, like I was in middle school, it was so popular. Your friend would send you a right. link, and then bam, Rick Roll. You know, gotcha. Yeah, sure. It, it's still a thing. It's crazy. People love it. It. it I, I think also it's just it. It's somehow, you know, by the grace of God, whatever. It's managed to sort of find its own little spot on the internet. That song, and it's kind of been amazing for that reason. You know, obviously people of a certain age might remember the song from when it was released and when yeah. I was out there promoting it all those years ago, many, many, many moons ago. But that's the, one of the amazing things about the internet. It's it's given life to so many different things, like even old movies and stuff and old TV shows that people love and, and some of the new TV shows have got music from a different era. You know, like, let's say, I don't know, I mean, take your pick, there's loads of them where they kind of, like the Kate Bush song and what have you, they oh, got yeah. a reinvention last year, you know, through Stranger Things and stuff. and. It's pretty amazing, I think. Really, I don't. I don't think when most artists are uh, there, you go. I've got something happening there now. Oh, awesome! Boom. Oh yeah, there you go. Cool. All right. What are we doing? Where All right, and then I think we can move on to this next right. area. And uh, okay, Jack Black wants us to go over here. Let me let me go see what cool. Jack Black wants well, me whatever, to do. Well, whatever, whatever Jack, whatever Jack wants, Jack gets. I know, right? <laughs> We'll need to fix the telephone. Oh, so you can fuse pets ship. together, I think. Oh. Is that what you I'm do? I'm fusing. You're at risk of losing your crew members. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, I see. I can. Does that mean I can fuse with your pets? My pets can fuse with yours? Is that right? Maybe. I actually I don't, know. don't know. No, I don't know. I'm being told I can fuse. I'm going to fuse. I'm going okay, crazy. Okay, go for it. Confirm. He's going for it, guys. I've just. You know what I mean? Just yeah. Just nuts here. I think how it works uh, is you have like a chance of like getting like a, a used better stronger pet but you may lose right. a pet kind of like a chance thing but yeah i don't know what's going on i'm trying to fuse but I've said, it says no percent so maybe i have to wait till i've got you know what i'm going out i'm going for more gold I think. sure yeah let's do it let's do it let's do it there let's we go here. No, and we need 4500 for the next area that's crazy man what's going on with these people <laughs> i know on. they should have gave us like cheat codes or something <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah I'm, I'm glad that you like the uh you know like you've kind of like taken everything in with like the rick roll stuff it's it's cool to see well i didn't i didn't have any choice to be honest either you know what i mean that, yeah. that's that's one of, again one of the wonderful things about you know the internet i mean i'm talking like a granddad here i'm not a granddad <laughs> yet by the way but um um is that it's in the hands i mean look what we're doing right now we're playing a game that somebody built specifically to go on to roblox and do you know what i mean it's yeah. like we're living in different times in a different world so you can either kind of you know you can either kind of fight it or you can just just let it be and just try and see the funny side of things sometimes you know what For i mean sure. so yeah and actually on your topic of like you know like memes like this kind of leading to other stuff i remember uh, i think it was a few years ago you i think you did like a comeback tour or something like that if i remember correctly. yeah i mean uh, yeah yeah for sure i've done i mean it's it, the whole thing is so weird now if you go on a streaming service to listen to music and even if you may have made a brand new record recently your old stuff is still at the top of everyone pretty much you know what i mean yeah May, maybe ed, ed sheeran it might be a little bit different but i doubt it if you go in his top 10 a lot of the songs are going to be ones that he did 10 years ago do you know what i mean so yeah. it's kind of it i just think people now don't necessarily uh listen and view music in the same way and so i think people's they're a bit broader in every experience of life you know what i mean there's sure. more to go out in life and so people i don't know i don't know what i'm waffling on about actually but i'm just trying to say that i think things things have changed and they've certainly changed for me and it's just nice that you know a song from 30 something years ago gets a chance to be heard again you know yeah so, yeah it's pretty cool it, it, it's even led me to like your other music i was listening to the other like all your other stuff and it's like you're you're a good singer like uh you know it's, thank you man yeah thank you. i appreciate that thank you yeah but it's it's it, i i also don't fool myself i know that that song in particular never going to give you up it's just like an anomaly it's just some weird yeah. kind of and and i like i say i can see the funny side of it and i can i can be grateful about it and just say well you know what i'll just i will forgive the pun but i will roll with it and just you know <laughs> see what happens so yeah it's put me in some good spots so i can't complain really yeah that's awesome i'm, I'm, I'm glad
I have so many diamonds right now at 11,000, but I only have like 3,000 gold. Hey, so you're, you're completely... Oh, wait, they said use the reward boost. Uh, okay, where... What is that? Hey, chat, what's a... Re oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay, so you see your bag at the bottom? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah if yeah, you yeah. click that and go to the star, oh, yeah. do you have anything there unlocked? I don't know. Premium shop. Battle pass. I think it's the battle pass. At the top, it should maybe. be like tier one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tier one claim. Claim that, maybe. I just claimed that, and I got like 54,000 gold. Ah, yeah, I just got a big chunk of gold myself right there. Okay, great. Cool. Okay. There we go. We're learning. <laughs> Crazy. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Awesome. I did not know that was there. How much gold do you have now? Uh, 1,164. Okay. All right, let me... So what do we need? 2,000 still. I think we need 4,500 for the next one. So oh, it's going to... I know, it's okay. going to be a little bit. <laughs> 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 Stay tuned to the next episode, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get your sleeping bags, everybody. <laughs> yes. um, <laughs> All right, there we go. I was looking oh, to see if I could just buy us to the next area, but I don't think that's a... Uh... <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, it's fine. I'm I'm again. enjoying uh, breaking some chests and chatting. It's uh, it's good. There we go. So, what is your? I mean, do you? What is your favorite thing on Roblox? Then, I mean, I not that I would know what it was, even if you yeah. tell me what it is. But what is it? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's this is kind of a cheesy answer, but I guess kind of like the the community. Like, there's a lot of like fun games and right. like fun stuff out there, but like, yeah, the community is like so active and like engaged and there's always something new popping yeah. up and going on so it's like there's never really like a boring moment or anything like that you know yeah it's really really exciting especially ever since um you know the the covid and pandemic and stuff everything's just kind of taken like everything to a whole nother level so um yeah it's crazy here we go what was it like actually because like for for me, you know, during during you know lockdown and everything, I was just kind of sitting here playing games all day. But like, were you still yeah, able well, to like, do I, stuff? I have a little studio at home, and I kind of buried myself in there quite yeah. a lot, to be honest. Um, we were really lucky as well because we've got a big back garden, and you know, we, you know, some people were stuck in an apartment and what have you, and maybe even with young kids and stuff and all that. So it, you know, that must have been really tough, and we were super lucky, I think. But I, I mean. I think, to be honest, the main thing, it was just the mental thing of watching TV and hearing all the kind of terrible things right, that were going yeah. on for certain people and stuff. And so you just had to try and, I don't know, really, just had to try and focus on something that would take your mind off it a little bit sometimes. But it's, yeah. I mean, and again, what's really weird about human nature and the human spirit is we're kind of all going about life now. Not everybody, obviously, I know that, but a lot of people are kind of just back to their normal routine and back to their, which is never going to be completely normal again because it was horrific and a lot of people really, truly suffered and, you know, you know, but it, but I, I don't know, it's such a strange thing that, you know, human nature is that you bounce back from things and you just get on with whatever the perceived next normality is, you know, it's, For sure, it's yeah. weird sometimes you sort of close your eyes and you think, did that happen? Do you know what I mean? Well, of course it happened. And, you know, like I say, a lot of people really suffered through it there's no, no doubt about that but i think for a lot of people it was you know it's almost like we're just getting on with life again you know yeah. it's just kind of weird to think about picking it, so. it back up getting back on the yeah, yeah. swing of things yeah, yeah. yeah. also I, I saw this question in the chat i'm kind of curious if sure if you had to pick uh like top music artists or top songs what, what's some of your favorite uh, like i guess oh, beats wow. to listen to <laughs> Um, you, can, you can go I mean, uh, anything really old school new school whatever yeah well there's going to be quite a bit of old school going on um i mean i i grew up listening to a lot of black american r&b and soul music not not all of that but i mean even going back way to motown and and you know some of the guys who i love a guy called luther van dross who's possibly my favorite singer of all time um uh, i mean the thing is i kind of pinched so much in the way i sing from a lot of soul singers from america that i have a kind of like there's just something about the way somebody sings like r&b and soul that just floats my boat you know but yeah. i like everything i used to play drums as a kid oh, and okay. i was in bands at school and we we played probably more heavier rock stuff than that just because 
the punk thing had just happened and what have you and, and that was something that anyone could get in a garage and play if you know what i mean right, you could emulate yeah. what was on the records that were the hits of the moment and um so i still like going back to that little bit i have a midlife crisis rock band with two friends of mine <laughs> and uh, we only do gigs for charity and we only play punk stuff really oh and, that's um, cool so i love doing that yeah but I, I think from a vocal perspective i think a lot of soul like classic soul is what i really love to listen to somebody like bill withers or al green as well i'm probably naming some people that people are going who at the moment check them out if you don't know who they are check them out okay um but i do like new stuff when i you know there's certain things that i like that that come along and I love. I seem to end up loving everything the weekend does. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what that dude and and I also think, you know, someone like Bruno Mars has done some amazing stuff over the years. And I'm not exactly very left field in my music choice. I kind of like popular music, you know. And, yeah. Um, but I like a bit of everything. I just literally like a bit of everything. Um, and I think, like I say, I'm still kind of devoted to drummers and drumming and if there's a band with a great drummer in it, I tend to gravitate towards that a little bit as well, you know. So. But I like a bit of everything, really. That's cool. Yeah, that's good. I've been I've been trying to expand my my music taste from video game music to you know like other music. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the car with like my fiance. What do you want to listen to? A uh, Mario theme song, you know. <laughs> right. Okay. So what about your fiance then? Did you, what what's yeah. what's her thing? She then? she's kind of like you, just like a lot of you know like more popular you know just kind of like anything right. really. Me, yeah. you can throw on a video game soundtrack. You know, I'll, I'll barrel down the road to the Doom soundtrack. That's cool. Let's do it. You know. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe yeah. you need to get out more, man. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. She's in the other room, definitely agreeing with you right now, for right, sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah but it's it, you know, th there's so much in the world today going on i mean look what we're doing right this second and i mean when i was 14 15 16 all i wanted to do was play drums in a band and go to gigs yeah and i think the options now for teenagers to do so many other things and so many things that are literally going into a different world like this like we're doing right now that didn't even exist when i was a teenager you know what i mean so yeah. there was primi primitive very primitive what we used to call space invader games which would be you know what I mean? And you can't even compare them, really. And so I just think the world is changing what, what people want from entertainment. And music's still a huge part of that. But it is just a part of it now, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so. Awesome. I, I wanted to ask, too. Um, I, I think uh, I think your friend mentioned, like, I, I don't want to keep you too long. Um, I'm good. I'm all good. You're I've all got to good. Get two thousand. No, four and, a, four and a half thousand ain't going to happen, man. I'm telling you. I'm still at <laughs> 1,500 right now. <laughs> This is just awesome. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. But yeah, yeah I'm enjoying this. It's great. That's what we need. Everyone in the chat is still freaking out. <laughs> well, if anybody wants to ask me something, you're more sure, than welcome. Sure. Yeah. Let's chip in. Let's do a little little Q and A thing. We can do that. Ask ask some questions. Let's see what we got. Um. Let's see. Aaron Gladden. My son is a super fan and is so happy to see Rick on here. My son Andrew says hi. Hey, Andrew. How you doing? Let's see what we got here. I, I did ask him about the Roblox uh, uh, concert. He said he's definitely down, guys. That would be... Yeah, I'm up for that. I'm that up would for be that, cool. for sure. Oh, that's as long a... As, you, as long as you'll style me, though, by the way. Let's, we'll make it happen. Greg, we'll you it. have to do the, the clothes styling of me. You know what I mean? You have to give me a nice outfit to wear. We will make that happen. 100%. You name it, you got it. We had an interesting question. Here. What's your... Do you, do you have, like, a, a favorite song of yours besides, uh, you know, like, Rick Roll or something? I think the thing for me is obviously I get different emotions out of singing different songs. I've got a song called Cry for Help that, that um, we recorded a yeah. long, long time ago and it's got a choir on it and the recording of that song was pretty amazing because, uh, you know, I, I wrote with a friend of mine, we wrote a pop song and then when you put a choir on it and because of the nature of the lyrics and stuff, it takes on a whole different meaning really and it kind of just has a bit more depth to it. So there's times when I sing that and I get a little bit emotional about that. Um, but the main thing, to be honest, I think is just, I'm pretty stunned and amazed that I actually get to go and do gigs anyway, because I'm 57 years old. That's so, you know, I wasn't, I, wa I wasn't expecting, no, but I wasn't expecting to be necessarily, you know, still playing live and stuff and, and that there would be anybody out there who'd be interested in, in, in hearing me do it. And that's not false modesty. That's just reality, you know? Yeah. Um, so I kind of... I get pretty emotional doing any kind of gigs. I get emotional watching cat videos these days, you know what I mean? <laughs> so singing to people is, um, you know, yeah. it's kind of, uh, 
so yeah i i just like i just like to get the opportunity to do it full stop it's pretty cool for sure okay let's see what else we got here uh oh favorite favorite tv shows oh man that's just endless <laughs> that is endless okay let's say, um, let's say first one that comes to mind well, I loved Stranger Things, to yeah. be honest. Uh, okay. um, and funny enough, funny enough, we were on tour when I actually finished the last series and stuff. And so I was kind of like getting onto the tour bus every night. Boom, click that in straight away. <laughs> um, and um, I think there's a lot of things about that show that I really loved. I mean, the writing's great. The, the, you know, the, the direction, obviously, all the people in it, the actors, the, the, the kind of theme of it all. It's just really cool because it's sort of... It sort of takes you back to a totally different era. For me, it does. You know what I mean? There's a, yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of memories in it for me that get evoked by the style of it and everything. And it's, but I also think it's, I think it was one of those shows that really bonded people. You, you're you're either in or you're not with that that show. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and there's obviously been a lot of shows like that. I guess you could say all shows are, but like something like that, or even going to Game of Thrones or something. You're either a fan of that or you're not. You yeah. know what I mean? And and it, I kind of love that about TV shows. It's kind of, it, it, it's it's a very big club to be part of, but it is a club. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. guess it's the same with video games as well. You're either into one or you're not. And so, yeah, I did like Stranger Things. Um, I love Modern Family. Um, oh, okay. That is one of my all-time favorites. I've just started re-watching it, actually. And it's kind of it's pretty funny to re-watch it, actually, because, you know, going back to when all the kids were really young and stuff, um, I love Shit's Creek as well. I thought that was absolutely amazing. I don't know whether you watched that, but that I just really I've heard loved of it, that. but I don't think I've seen it. Oh yeah. man, it's worth a watch. That is, I'm telling you. Um, Got yeah, the I mean, endorsement. That's good for me. I think the thing is as well, television and movies. There was a massive separation uh, back in the day, and I think today the quality level of TV is just as good as movies sometimes. Oh yeah. Um, and and I think. Obviously, the budgets and, you know, because of the way streaming's taken off so massively and everything, it, it's 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 just changed the way we perceive television and what have you. And I think the actors that you used to be able to get to do television, um, you know, were, was a bit more limited because they all wanted to be in movies. Whereas now, some of the biggest actors in the world are desperate to do TV shows because they know how good they are, you know. So it's, it's really changed things up a little bit, I think. Yeah, like the, you know, streaming platforms, Disney. You look at, like, Mandalorian, yeah, yeah. Star Wars, stuff like that. And, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I loved Mandalorian as well, actually. In fact, I still haven't seen Series 3. Is Series 3 only just come out, or has it been out a while? I don't know. No, it's it's airing right now every, like... It's airing right now, I think right it's, like, now, halfway okay. through the season, yeah. Okay, yeah. right, okay. I, I'm, like, two... Ep I'm, well, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, two episodes behind. I gotta, I gotta well, catch look, up myself. But again, I struggle a bit now when when something's not out and you can watch all of it and just binge it over a weekend. I struggle because I'm so used to doing that now. That oh, I think, yeah. what? It's not all out. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait till it, you know, like Succession. I don't know about in America, but in the UK for sure, it's only just out now, like kind of thing. And you watch an episode a week and I'm like, I can't do that. I have to wait till it's all come out because it'll, you know. That's um, that's what I love about Stranger Things. Like one of my favorite things to do, I just get like two boxes of pizza, whole day, nothing but sitting there watching Stranger Things and eating pizza. So yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I'm so fun. slow on this game, man. We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> no worries. I promise to take my wife out for dinner as well, so I don't know how long I can be here. Yeah, right now, no, we'll no see. worries. Uh, sorry, wife, we're we're getting some golden Roblox. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. No worries. <laughs> Yeah, when, whenever, you know, if you got a balance, no worries, man. Um, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Have you ever Rickrolled your family? <laughs> uh, no, is the answer to that. I think I think I know what door that I would be walking through if, they, if I did that. Um, You'd be sleeping our on the daughter, couch, guys. Well, we, we have one one child, our daughter, and she's 31 now. And when Rick Rolling all started and that whole thing and everything, she was, you know, she was a teenager, mid yeah. to late teens. And her grasp of the situation was far better than mine. And she kind of literally sat me down one day and said, you do realize it, it's not, it's not really about you. And I'm like, what do you mean it's not about me? I'm the guy in the video. I'm the Rick and Rick rolling. And she said, yeah, it's not really about you. Don't, don't take it, you know, too personally. Don't take it. Don't, don't embrace it too hard. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. what have you. And I just thought, wow, man, it, it, it was a real lesson. I think it really taught me something that, she is the internet generation. She grew up with the internet, obviously, with the first generation, probably of like fully, full on right. internet. You yeah. Know? And so, 
and she, you know, used to, she used to play Sims a lot and different oh, games yeah. and stuff. And um, and I don't know. I just think it was it was it was it was really beneficial to get someone who really understood me and knew me, you know, like my own daughter, to just set me right and put me right on the Rick rolling thing and say, look, just don't, just chill out. You know, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's not, you know. And I think that was really healthy advice, you know. So yeah, it's it's a fun thing for sure. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Favorite foods? Oh man, <laughs> I've been so lucky. Like I say, to travel. You know, literally, I've been right around the world a few oh, times yeah. here, there, and everywhere. And uh, Japanese food is one of my favorite. Okay. Um, I love Italian food of any kind. Oh, me as well. too. Pasta. Um, so, oh, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's always a, a, a difficult one, I think, really. And I think, I guess the, I guess the thing is, when you're traveling, it's not really work doing concerts, but it does take some effort. Let's say that. You know what I mean? It takes oh, yeah. it out of you, kind of thing food becomes like a massive priority um <laughs> because you just want to eat well do you know what i mean and yeah. also when you are traveling a lot you kind of think to yourself well i don't know when we're going to get the chance to go somewhere really nice so when we do get a chance to go eat something i really want to eat i go for it so um i think japanese food is a big big one okay uh, my wife loves that as well um but yeah i love italian food so i could pretty eat italian almost every day i think and in fact if you could see my belly right now you probably attest to the fact that i probably do eat it every day but yeah i yeah. love if i could eat pasta like a whole refrigerator full of pasta i'd i'd do yeah. it yeah yeah so so good let's see um oh man we've got some good questions uh let's see here um I can't you... believe this, man. I'm still up to 2,000. I've just gone over 2,000 points. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't wrong. know what I'm, I'm doing gonna, differently. I'm, I'm at 62,000. No, I've got nothing in the bag. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running around doing this, but I'm obviously not doing it very well. I wonder if it's because I have more pets. Maybe that's it. Like, I get more pets. Get well, more I've only got two pets, so I don't know how I ended, ended up with Maybe two. Maybe if you buy you more go. pets, it, like, ah, right, okay. increases or something. Maybe we'll do that. Well... You know what? I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing right now. Cause, sure. Like I said, the one thing I'm buying tonight is dinner for my wife, so I'm, I that won't works. be here for too much longer anyway. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, what's your favorite hobbies? Just kind of like chilling, doing stuff. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I love watching movies. I know that's not not a hobby exactly, but my wife works in film as well, and, oh, and that's cool. it's something we both we both share. And I'm one of those people who can can watch old movies over and over again which might sound a bit sad, but I really like it. I, I think I still get something from different movies that I really love, do you know what I mean? And rewatching yeah. them and stuff. And again, going back to COVID, you know, I rewatched so many different movies. Um, I also love like historical movies, you know, when they're actually set in a certain time oh, and, right, the, and yeah. the actual factual content is pretty correct and stuff. I love all of that. And, um, and in terms of hobbies, I mean, I don't know, I'm pretty boring. I love skiing. <laughs> don't get to oh, do it wow, that often okay. but i love skiing yeah i would love um, to try that it sounds so scary though well you just you know what you need to maybe go with some friends who've done it before who you trust who aren't crazy yeah um and also don't fool yourself go and get some lessons don't just go out there and say oh i'll manage i'll work it out you won't work it out go and have some lessons um that's a good but idea I've been skiing since i was a teenager and i it's one of my yeah, I think it's always been a bit of a passion. I like being outdoors as well, and, you know, it ticks a lot of boxes in that respect. But to be honest, I love... The weird thing is, and I've I've kind of said this a few times to different friends and what have you, different people, studios now have become very much about working with a computer. Right. And for me, when I'm in my little studio at home and I'm doing a track and stuff, I just do it because I like doing it. It isn't like the end result has to be a record. I just like doing it, if you know what I mean. And I'm in there messing around with things. And and for me, I can sort of see the similarity of playing video games. Because you're in front of a screen and you have to achieve certain things to make something sound right. Yeah. And, you, and obviously there's the tactile nature of having hold of a guitar or singing or playing a bit of piano or something or what have you. Or, but it's it's become so linked to a computer recording now, for most people anyway, Right. that it's... It's not a million miles away, I think, in terms of like trying to get creative in how to tackle something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Kind of like new takes on like old stuff kind of thing. Mm. Very, very cool. But I also think, you know, the way they've done the graphics now on most um, software programs and stuff, that they're, they're kind of enticing people in. Yeah. By the way they look. You know what I mean? It's not, I know it should be the way about the way things sound, but. 
believe me, when you when you download something new, like to use in, in, in one of your programs or what have you, the way it looks is half the battle. You think, oh man, look at that. It looks amazing. I've got to, buy, I've got to get one of those. Yeah. You know, like a soft synth or what have you, or you know, something that just looks funky and you just think, man, I've got to get one of them. And um, yeah, yeah so I just, I love, I love being in the studio and just fiddling around with stuff, to be honest, doing that. So That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's cool that you have the little studio at your house too, so you can kind of just like yeah. hop in and play around. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a weird question. What's your favorite type of hot dog? <laughs> what? Well, now then. Ah, here we go. <laughs> now. So my wife is from Denmark. She's from Copenhagen oh. in Denmark. And in Denmark, in Denmark, something you have to do if you're in Denmark, and I do it every time I go, you have to go to the Pulsavalm, which is the sausage wagon. Oh. And they have they have hot dogs that looks like a hot dog you might find in anywhere in America, but like that classic American sort of let's say New York, you know, hot dog stand on a corner. Yeah, they're a little bit different to that. They're a little bit different, but it is the same principle. And there's certain ones in Copenhagen, and I know Copenhagen quite well. I've been there many times. Our daughter lives there. There's certain ones that are the best ones. Okay. And um, so I love. Uh, it's called a rasted pulsa. Rasted pulsa, yeah, I know it's. Danish. I'm gonna clip that. Um, We're gonna write that down, and I'll, I'll grab oh yeah, it. and they have they have a thing called synop, which is basically the um, that's like the mustard, but it's it's a, a very special kind of mustard, and they have a very special ketchup that goes with it, and they also have onions as well, and um, man, that is, and I'm, I've sometimes. I feel myself leaving Copenhagen thinking something is wrong and then I think I've not had a hot dog yet. So <laughs> as I'm leaving I have to find a hot dog stand, one of the good ones, and um and have a hot dog. So so that's yeah, I don't that know where that makes any sense to anybody. But... To that question ever. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, no, it. you should win an award for that one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh a few people in the chat saying they're from Denmark. They probably know oh, all really? about oh, that cool. then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's a big thing, man. It's it's a semi-religious experience having a hot dog in Denmark. It really is. Yeah. Wait, someone said there is apparently an island in real life that's named the Rick Roll Island. Is that real? Oh, really? Let me look that up. Know. Someone apparently bought an island and named it. Really? As in, like, a physical real island out somewhere in the real world? No, it's actually real. Yeah. Somebody bought an island, and it is legally named Rick Rowland. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Pete, who I'm with right now, has just found it. There's a Rick Roll museum. There's a Rick Roll flag. It's in the Bahamas. Okay. Wow. We've got to go to the Bahamas. We've got to check that out. That's crazy. That's great. Man. That's madness. You show up there, probably, like, we're going to roll out the you know. Somebody's probably done probably done very well on crypto i think at this point go, what should i do next i'll buy an island <laughs> yeah man that's crazy yeah just yeah what did you, what did you do there oh i bought an island and named it after yeah, rick astley yeah just, you know. yeah i mean i mean who doesn't do that kind of thing yeah. normally yeah just casually listen i'm never going to get to four and a half thousand this time. i don't know why <laughs> but it's just not going to happen no so worries i have to no worries. So you've got a couple more questions for me yeah, then, sure. Rick, well, and then maybe I'll bow out then. Sure, yeah, we can do, uh, we'll do like two more maybe, let's see. Um, okay, do you like pineapple on pizza? Oh man, that is such a, t you know what? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm going to have to embarrass myself and say I actually do. Oh, okay. But nobody, no, but nobody should, do you know what I mean? Okay. It should actually be, it should possibly be illegal, but it is actually quite good. It shouldn't be, but it is. I'm 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 too scared to try it. I gotta try it. I gotta try no, it. No, well, it, I don't think you. I don't. I don't know whether you should try it. If you've not already tried it, okay. Don't try it. It's it'll it'll probably ruin pizza for you for a few weeks. Do you know what I mean? So maybe you just need to. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. My my. my uh, I never order it. Let me let me answer oh, okay. it that way. I would I would never order it. But if someone's ordered a couple of pizzas or something, we're all having a slice. And I just pick one up and start eating it. And I think, that's got pineapple on it. There's no way I'm going to eat. And then I go, hmm, <laughs> actually, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I would never order a pizza with pineapple on it. But, yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what you need to do. You may, you need to get a friend to order a pizza with pineapple on it. Okay. And then get to get you to try it without you realizing, you know? Okay, yeah. Okay, good answer. Uh, I guess last question here. You mentioned movies a little bit earlier. Um, sure. Favorite movies? 
Oh man, I'm a sword and sandals kind of guy. I'm a li I like old movies. My all-time favorite, I've got a massive poster of it just on this wall here. It's a film called Spartacus. Oh, which is, okay. It's just, oh man. Um, and for so many reasons, it's an amazing movie. I actually think Kirk Douglas is incredible and everyone in that movie is amazing, but that's really old school. I'm going back really old Hollywood there. Yeah. Um, and uh, I really like Christopher Nolan as a director and pretty oh. much every movie he's ever made I really love. And Interstellar is my favorite some, movie of all time. Yeah, I mean, it sometimes takes me five watches to understand what the movie <laughs> is really about, Interstellar being one of them. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, I think he's got a very interesting take on time. You know, what is time linear? What What is yeah. time? Where is it? How is it? And, and he does that in so many movies. And I even love... Um, the movie about the two magicians. I've just forgotten what it's called right now for some reason. The Prestige. Oh, okay. Um, that is a monster movie. If you've not seen that, you really need to. You need to get a pineapple pizza in. And watch get yourself Prestige. comfortable and watch that. Yeah. Will do. There it is. But yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you again. Like this is one of the craziest moments of my life. Can't believe I'm talking to you. Chat's loving it and. The Thank feeling you very is mutual, much, baby. Man. The feeling is mutual. No, listen, thanks for letting me into your world. I really appreciate it. For sure. I'm sorry I was so lame at playing the game, no, but there you go. You're all good, dude. You're all good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. And uh, yeah, we're almost going to shake hands there. Oh, there yeah, yeah. There you go. How about <laughs> that'll, that? There that'll do. There you go. <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, and, uh, listen. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for inviting me. Thank and, you. Uh, nice, nice to meet you, Creek. Love the outfit, like I say. Thank you. And uh, yeah. All the best to everyone watching and playing. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I think it's Cheers. night there. So Thank you. Have a good night. It is. <laughs> Cheers. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, man. Cheers. Bye.